guys, welcome back to our channel. It's hashtag Roxley, and we are back with another video. So, today, you guys, we are back with another video, and we are here to tell you guys about what happened on date number two. I know you guys are like, what happened on date number two? Oh my god, what happened? So, what happened? Where did we go? Was it the movies? Yeah, it was okay. Fridays. We met up at Fridays for dinner. Okay. And then went to a movie. Was that a really second date? Uh huh. I feel like a third. Okay. Yeah, it was. <laughs> we already did the third date. Yeah, no, no, I know. I was just like, I felt like that was, so that really was our second date. Okay. Yeah, 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 it was. Yeah, it was. Okay. Sorry, I'm like remembering everything. Um. So yeah, we went to Fridays and what, then. Wait, what was the movie? Wonder Woman? Yeah, it was. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I'm surprised I remember that. Me too. <laughs> All right, guys. So, um, we met up on Fridays. We had dinner. Um, after dinner, we ended up going to um, the movie theater um, and we watched Wonder Woman at the time. And then afterwards, you know, he walked me to my car. He was a gentleman or what have you and such. And. We and didn't then, kiss. <laughs> we did not kiss. That we still didn't kiss. Um, then started the whole thing of the big surprise of date number two. Now, babe, you're so dramatic. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead, you're so dramatic. This started the whole surprise of date number two. Now, before we tell you, make sure you hit that big thumbs up like this video and comment down below, Lee, why are you stalling? Yeah, why are you stalling? Let me tell y'all the story. I'm gonna get to it. Okay, so anyways, um, so what happened was after I went home, if you guys don't know this, you know, by now, like, you guys are about to know this, but, and for those of you who already know me, you already know. So I am deathly, 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 deathly freaking afraid of frogs. Now, at my old apartments, um, where I used to live like I used to think that they were after me like I used to think that people were setting me up like seriously like I felt like it was a setup and um like I just knew because it was around the time it was kind of like rainy season it was like June July yeah it was June it was June it was still June um it was rainy season and then um you know like whenever it rains like the frogs are just out and popping like just waiting for me so I go home and there is a frog on my stairs and I live on the second floor and there's a frog on my stairs. So I call, I, well I text him because he was like, you know, let me know when you get home safe. At the time we weren't allowed to know where each other lived and you know, because I had like some really strict rules. Um, so if you guys want to know about what all my rules were, comment down below. Roxy, what were your rules? What, don't be oh god at me. There were a lot of rules. Yeah, there were a lot, I had a lot of rules. Your girl had a lot of rules, okay? So, um, I was like, well, you know, like, you can't come over, whatever. Anyway, so I go upstairs, well, I'm about to go upstairs, I see a frog and I'm just looking at it like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, I can't do it. And mind you, it's so bad, like I'm so scared of frogs to the point where I've slept in my car before. Like, that's how bad until 7 a.m. until I know they were gone because I was really freaking, like I'm terrified of them, right? So, um, I text him, I'm like, hey, I'm home. Um, I didn't go up because there's a frog on my stairs, but it's no problem, it's no worries, I'm just gonna sleep in my car, da, da, da. So he's like, no, seriously. Lee has a rule, no one sleeps in the car. That's Lee's rule, that's Lee's rule. No one ever sleeps in the car, he's there, like, super no against point. that. Like, he's like, no, you're not sleeping in your car, that's ridiculous, right? Now, I, <laughs> being the wonderful person that I am, just got back from the 20 minute drive from the movie theater. Mm -hmm. Now, want to make sure that my future wife <laughs> does not sleep in her car. Because you knew I was gonna be your future wife then? Since the first date. Ooh! Okay, so anyways, um, so, he was like, um, you know, I'll come over there, like, and I'm like, no, you're not supposed to know where I live, you know? So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna text you the address of the apartment complex itself. I'm not gonna text you my address, I'm just gonna text you the apartment complex. And um, he's like, okay, and I was like, once you get here, I'll just guide you through how to get to 
my building, whatever. And then you really couldn't see the building numbers, so I don't know, I was just kind of like still paranoid. So he gets there and um, he pulls up and he gets out and he gets rid of the frog. He drove from where he, so we lived about 20, no. 25 minutes. Yeah. I was thinking it was like 35, 40. That's definitely not true. That's if it's really bad traffic. If it's nighttime, it was definitely like 25 minutes. I if that. It, the way I remember it is I drove two hours to make sure that you were safe and Stop stalling. Okay, maybe. All right, so he drove about 20 to 25 minutes. Literally, it really, it was not 30 minutes. He drove to my apartment and he scared the frog off and he told me to go upstairs and that he didn't know, need to know what floor I lived on. Um, mind you, I feel like he already knew where I lived because he's a, a creepster. And if you guys wanna know how bad of a creepster he is, comment down in the <laughs> comments lee what is she talking about why are you a creepster and we'll do another video on that too creepster. so we have a lot of stories wait for y'all not a bad creepster. we got a whole lot of stories for y'all he's a creepster let's just say that he's a creepster i'm so, very well informed right anyways if y'all want to know like i said be like lee why are you so crazy why are you a creepster and we'll tell you guys so he's like, I don't need to know, you know, what floor you live, you know, what floor you live on in your apartment number. Just go upstairs. And he kissed me on my forehead, and then he just went in his car and left. Like I thought, I sincerely thought he was gonna try to attempt to come inside or ask me to come in or whatever. Cause you know how some men are. Coffee? You know how some men are. Like oh, like you know, maybe like a night recap, especially if he didn't came and save the day. So I felt like, oh Lord, I hope he doesn't think that he's about to come upstairs and know where I live and all this, you know, whatever. But he was really sweet, he was a real gentleman. He kissed me on my forehead and he told me to just go upstairs. He doesn't need to know what floor I live on and that to text him once I'm inside. Y'all, it was so sweet. He literally drove, y'all don't understand. He drove 20 to 25 minutes away from home where he was already home to just remove a frog for a good like three minutes. Yeah, and he kissed me on my forehead and left. Like, I thought that was just the sweetest thing ever. Like, we have a lot of like really sweet stories and things of that nature that happen. Because is so romantic. Yeah, he's he's romantic or what have you on such. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, that is what happened on date number two. I'm definitely afraid of frogs. Like, it's not cool. Like, I don't like them. I hate them. I'm just, it's something that I don't know if I can ever, you know, whatever. But anyways, Wait. um. Now, for my mother, who I know is watching this, I want you to comment what my nickname back in grade school was. She'll comment. Oh, I know she will. Ah, uh, I know it. Okay, gotcha. Anyways, um, you guys, I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, so before we go, again, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit that bell button so it goes bing. bing. So you're notified every time we upload new videos. So we upload new videos about two to three times a week. <laughs> and the reason why I looked at him like that is because we're trying to upload, oh, I would like to upload three times a week for you guys. Cause we love you, I love you. Lee doesn't. Anyways. <laughs> Lee loves you Stop. tremendously. <laughs> <clears throat> all right guys um but yeah that is all that we have for you guys today um so yeah definitely stay tuned because we'll be back with more videos pretty soon from hashtag roxley see you guys on our next video bye